welcome guys, it's Bass, welcome to the OG. Today, we're gonna go out in the hunting field that are renting for the hunting season. I made a, a couple um, a couple of change. Last year I talked about uh, that you didn't need a pickup truck to go hunting. Well, I rethink about that and I bought a truck because last year was, was really tough to go feed uh, on a regular basis. So... I bought a used truck, especially to go out in the wood, to buy uh, large quantities of uh, carrots and apples, so I, I could save in the meantime uh, on the feeding cost. Also, what I like about hunting is I like go mud, and I go I like go in the trail. I I like guns. I got I like shooting. It's like an overall activities of all the things I love, and I like to spend time with my family. So. So today is it's a special day. I got around 600, 600 pounds of carrots in the back of the truck. We're gonna go all the ways in uh, my feeding spot. We're gonna drop all the carrots because the hunting season is opening uh, next week. We're gonna feed them with carrots. We're gonna track them with apples. Welcome to the channel and let's go. Scoop it, scoop it. Going to a fire. Uh, with a shovel. Maybe you're gonna see there's too much carrot. <laughs> I don't want to come back in the hunting season feeding. I want to concentrate in being in my cache up there. So I'm gonna use the apple. I'm gonna scrape it to attract, mainly to attract them with the smell. And they come, they're gonna arrive here. Today. They're gonna arrive here. It's gonna, they're gonna have a, a nice buffet. It's gonna feed the whole family. So the next generation deer will be fed. Because of course we're not we're not shooting the babies. This this season I have a female 
female license so this is why I don't bother much with the older having our our smell out here because the, the left the female are way less sensible they are not stressed out by the by the human order they just want to reproduce and well eat on, on a lot of carrot and apple so today I'm gonna empty one bag we're gonna scrub one bag on a couple of trees we're gonna empty one bag we're gonna take uh, we're gonna keep three bags for the rest of the season to attract them because the uh, uh, season is only uh, opening next week so I don't want to buy food no more I think I have a plane enough and now, now it's in, it's only a matter of attracting them on a spot so as you can see we're not buried that much so before we bury ourselves too much I'm gonna go ahead and install the track grabber and if it doesn't work I have a couple of straps I'm gonna strap on the straps in the front of the truck to a nearby tree with the towing straps and hopefully we'll be was gonna be able but I think with the all four tire uh, mud grabber we're gonna be okay uh, with of course a, f a lot less weight in the back of the truck that should help PSI so it should should do the tricks but I'm really curious about those tire grabber is this a money grabber or is it working we're gonna find out because as you can see it's all terrain tires but the mud it's so liquid it's all been filling out those or mud, those mud threaded. So I got no more traction. Thank God it works in the, with those rims, with those mags, because you couldn't do that with metal rims. You have to. I have enough space to put in the strap and be sure that it's not it's not going loose because if it go loose and then wrap around the brake well you're gonna be in some deep fucking trouble okay so we got all tire grabbers installed Okay, let's go. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 
One more. Okay. Whoops. What well, looks like we have a problem here. We're not getting any uh, traction anymore. The tracker, the tire grabber just dig us a nasty hole. So we're, we're I am buried like uh, to the frame. So uh, that's why I'm not getting any tractions, and I have I'm trying to find an uh, an idea how to get out of that steep hill, steep wedge. I'm trying with two straps, but I don't have enough uh, enough force on those straps. There's quite a lot of tension though. With the manual crank, I think I would be able to uh, to uh, winch my way out at least. Once I would be out of that spot, I could go all the way and take the momentum to get out of the trail easy. But uh, yeah, Hi. that uh, little swamp area is giving me a, hard, a lot of hard time. But well, we're gonna figure this out. Voila.
So we finally made it with a little bit of help of the locals. Yeehaw! Yeah, boy. So of course I wanted to push the limit of the trucks. I wanted to know what the failure points uh, that I need to upgrade uh, next. So a high clearance bumper in the, fr in the front and the winch will be my next upgrade. So now the, the truck and the brakes and all that, they all jammed up with mud. So we have a couple of hours of cleanup inside the truck and outside. I have to dismantle the, the wheels and the brakes just to give a good inspection and be sure that there's no rocks, there's no mud stuck inside the drums and all that. Uh, I will clear out all the frames and all uh, all the mud inside because if you let the mud stick on the frame of course it's prone to make rust and make the, the frame rot and I don't want that. So let's go clean that bitch up.
That's it on the opening season. Yeah, boy. Small female. Now it's time to prep her up. I'm so grateful. Thank you, pretty girl. Thank you, pretty girl, for your sacrifice. I'm so sorry. <sighs> so we sorry guys. There's deer of the season. I'm getting my emotion back. <sighs> As you can see all the inside. I did the field prep. It's really important to do the fast, the fastest possible to not spoil the meat. Thank you, big girl. Thank you so much. That's it, boys. Now fuel prep. So even though it's seven in the morning, I authorize myself to. Cracking a cold one. Cheers, boys. Cheers, beautiful lady. Thank you for your sacrifice. I'm drinking to do to you. It's not a beautiful view. A little cold one in the morning on the rising sun. First day of the season. Oh boy, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Meanwhile, while you're here, please consider subscribing. <laughs>